Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to the channel Book of Wolves. Today I'm going to be sharing with you every single book that I have left unread on my TBR cart. So I have this beautiful bookcase behind me. In fact, all these books on this whole shelf I have read. I love it. I love having all my red books on this shelf. There's a few like, you know, kind of like coffee table books that are on here that I haven't really read, but that's okay. But I have my TBR cart here and these are all the books that I have not read that I own physically. If you want to talk about ebooks in here too as well, we don't have the time, okay? I have a lot of ebooks, <laughs> like a lot of ebooks that are unread. It's a problem. But anyway, I just counted these out yesterday. Oh crap, what were they? I want to say it was like 43 on this, which is a lot. So I've got these kind of categorized. Maybe we'll do some B-roll of it and show you kind of how I have it. So the first um, row is books that I'm hoping to get to relatively soon. These are the ones that spark my interest pretty, like, they're interesting. Like, I just want to get to them. The second row was kind of a mismatch of, like, if I get to these, great. If I don't, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see. I say that. And then the third row is pretty much a lot of my young adult books, as well as books that I am honestly just not 100% sure if I'm going to get to them. In this video, I'm going to tell you if I really think I'm going to read it or not. I always say I'm going to do an update on these, and I never do. But either way, I want to share with you what books I have on my physical TBR that I want to read. So let's get into it. First up, Flying Solo by Linda Holmes. She wrote Evie Drake Starts Over, which is right here, which you can coincidentally can't see. I love that book. I started this one, DNF'd it. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know. I want to read this. I don't know if I will. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see on this one, honestly. Um, I should say, I guess, honestly, this is really not that organized, as you can see. Oh well, I'll reorganize it probably after this video. Um, then we have The Reunion by Kayla Olson. This is one I got from Book of the Moth that so much about it. I haven't read a lot of good re reviews. I basically think that it's about like a TV show that decides to have a reunion, I think. I guess it's as good as mine. I have one on here that I've been meaning to read for quite some time. The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark. This is about two characters. One's like a con woman and the other woman's like was conned by her and she's trying to get revenge but I think eventually they team up together. It just sounds really fun and I love movies that are con like you know like when you have planned like things like that like Ocean's Eleven stuff like that. I love that so when will I read it? I don't know. Much like Tell Me Everything, The Story of a Prime Investigation by Erica Krauss. This is a one that's like a true crime. It's his part memoir and part literary true crime. Tell Me Everything is the memorizing story of a landmark sexual assault investigation and the female private investigator who helped crack it open. So it's like half true. So that just really interests me. Um, then we have one that's been on my show for far too long that I've been wanting to read for forever. And I, I need to. I really need to. Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. Will I ever read this? One day, I promise you. One day, it will happen. This is an adult literary fiction about two characters that lose their mom and she leaves them like black cake. It's like a a cultural thing, I'm not sure. I, I think, maybe, I don't know, but it delves into the relationship and stuff like that. Then we have a recent, very recent edition, um, The London Seance Society by Sarah Pennard. I just got from Book of the Month. This one's like, takes place in 1873 about these women that I think do seances obviously this one could be a toss in the air for me do I do well with historical fiction not at all so <laughs> we'll see we have all good people here by Ashley Flowers she's the host of a podcast what podcast is it um crime junkie which I have listened to a few episodes and have enjoyed and she wrote a mystery thriller and that's all I know about <laughs> If you come here for riveting information, I'm sorry. Then I have one that will be leaving this cart for sure very soon. If maybe by the time this video goes live, I've already read it. I don't know because it comes out this month. And that is The Last Word by Taylor Adams. I'm, I have an ebook of this as well. This one I know for sure will be leaving my shelf. Then we have Partners in Crime by Alicia Rye. Um, this is one that I really enjoy this author. It's like I have a lot of adult romances in here because I'm like, I need it for a rainy day. I don't know. I want to read it though. Then we have The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling, which I'm actually saving for fall. So this will be gone by the end of this year for sure. Much like In the Weeds by BK Boris, and this is the sequel to Love Light Farms, um, which I really enjoyed. The only problem I haven't read this yet is because this is like, how long? Oh, it's actually not that bad. It's only 388 pages, which is, I guess, it looks a lot thicker than it is, but it looks good. 
Then we have another adult romance, Do You Take This Man by Denise Williams. Another one I'm planning to read sometime this year. That's the key word, sometime. And then I have books three, which one is this? No, books three and four in the Ice Planet series by Ruby Dix. I read Ice Planet Barbarians last month and coincidentally enough enjoyed it. So I was like, look, I want to read the rest of the series. So what do you know? These actually got sent to me. Um, so I have Barbarian Lover, which I believe is the third book. And then I have Barbarian Mine. So these are just, if you want some good alien times with not a lot of plot, that series is for you. Then I have, oh, I have one that should be on my first shelf, really. The True Love Experiment by Christina Thorne. This one comes out in May. For sure, we'll be reading it in May. We'll be gone. Then I have Make a Wish by Helena Hunting. This is a part of a series. I read the first book. Did not read the second book, so we'll have to see with this one. Then we have one that I totally forgot that was even on here that I want to read is The Neighbor Favor by Christina Forrest. I believe this is an author that previously wrote young adult fiction, but is making the foray into adult fiction. I've heard really super cute things about a shy bookworm and lists her charming neighbor to help her score a date, not knowing he's the obscure author she's been corresponding with. Super cute, wanna read it. Then, oh gosh, here we go. This one, I don't know. The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. You guys know I really enjoy Kristen Hanna. The Nightingale, one of my favorite books of all time, made me saw. I, I don't know how long this will be on here because her books always take an emotional toll on me and I feel like I'm never in the right headspace for them. <laughs> Much like The Winners by Frederick Bachman. This is the third book in the Beartown series, which I love and adore the Beartown series. And the main reason I have picked this up is because this book is freaking like almost 700 pages. That's insane for an adult literary fiction, at least to me. So that's my main qualm with that. Um, I don't know when I'll read it. Then I have just a whole bunch on here that, who knows, <laughs> Go Hex Yourself by Jessica Clare. We'll have to see. Another Helena Hunting one I bought like a couple years ago, Love Next Door. I have no clue what it's about. Another one I bought last year that I still need to read and want to read, The Stand-In by Lily Chu. Um, another one I randomly bought, Target kills me every freaking time I go in there, The Makeup Test by Jenny L. Howe. I'm always like, I'll buy a book and what do you know? Look at these. I bought these two, so I haven't read them. Much like also <laughs> Lucy Checks In by Dee Ernst. I haven't read it yet. And then I have a Lucy Score book, Maggie Moves On. Um, also haven't read this. Target is killing me. I have more. When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I these are books that like I don't know. I really this is it's a toss, it's a flip of the coin, honestly. I have one I do want to read, Keep It in the Family by John Mars. This is a mystery thriller that I want to read. Um then I have one a witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon by Sarah Hawley that Berkeley sent me. Again, I don't know. Oh, then I have the third book in the Love Light Farms, Mixed Signals, which I will read. I just showed you the previous one in the weed, so I definitely will be reading this one. Um, again, I don't know. <laughs> and then the last shelf is really my truly I don't know ones because I truly, I, I don't know. So I have Star Sight by... Brandon Sanderson. I read Skyward last year and enjoyed it. So I do want to read this. I just don't know when. Sci-fi is just not my jam in case you're unaware. Then I have two, the main reason out, oh gosh. Then I have two that I am interested in, but they're going to be too emotional for me to read. Number one, um, This Time Tomorrow by Emma Straw. This is about a girl, a woman, I shall say, that like um, is not close to her father. It's ailing. I think he might have dementia or something. And then she like um, wakes up the next day and she's actually a teenager and she gets to see her father healthy and happy again. If you don't know, I'm the caretaker of my father who was also recently diagnosed with dementia. And this is very hard for me to read about. They have a good relationship. I do not. <laughs> I don't know. Again, likewise with the unsequel Greta Janes by Jennifer E. Smith. This is about a father daughter that go on a cruise together. So I just, I don't do well with that right now. It's just, that's a little bit too emotionally close to home if you get what I'm saying. So I'm good. Um, then we have one that's probably been on my shelf the longest. New Orleans Rush by Kelly Siskind. Sis Sis uh, can tell you what it's about. Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. This is a freaking massive book. Why do I buy massive books and I never read them? I don't know. It's 733 pages. This is an adult book about vampires. I bought it because we all know I love vampires. We all know. Um, 
Then I have, oh, this one, I don't know. My Dark Vanessa has also been on my shelf for a really long time. Kate Elizabeth Russell. This is about a teacher getting involved with a student and kind of the aftermath and how bad it is. I just uh, think it might be too emotionally heavy for me. I don't know. Then I have, what else do I have on here? Some more adult romances that I don't know if I'll read. Once Upon a Sunset by Tiff Marcello. But you know, Lucky Streak also by Tiff Marcello. I need to read Tiff Marcello. I have another Kristen Hanna book, Night Road. Hmm. Will this be as intense? I don't know. I'm going to have to look up reviews on that. And then the last two books I have, I think, are YA. Yes. The Stolen Heir by Holly Black. This is her newest book in the um, Heir of the Folk series, which I did enjoy. So I do plan to read this. Um, and then also another one I do plan to read is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is the second book to The Inheritance Games. It's like a YA knives out that I did really enjoy. And I've actually read a couple of YA books recently and I was like, oh man, I do still really love YA. I don't think nearly enough to read it 100%. Visit it every now and then. I think I'm really okay with doing that now. So I want to read these soon. So there you have all of my books. And in fact, looking at this, I'm already going to know I'm going to put some of them in my unhaul pile, which is a little too big already. <laughs> I am a person that is not afraid to let go of books. If I feel, if I kick myself in the pants later, I'm always like I can buy it again or I can either get it from the library, things like that. So I'm not a, per I'm not a person that's afraid to unhaul because it's just life's too short. And honestly, I don't have the space. Like this is where all of my TBR books are. If this gets filled up and I have to do overflow, I can't allow that. That just, I have no room on these shelves for me to allow that. So it keeps me accountable. So yeah, so I'm uh, probably going to narrow this down a little bit. Not a ton, because the majority of these books on the shelf, I still want to read a lot. But I will say a lot of my books that I read are on ebook that I really feel drawn to. If you want me to do an ebook like TBR, let me know as well. <laughs> but either way, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the books that I have not read yet. I guess I should say my failure. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.